first guest, none other than the fabulous debutante farmer herself, our good friend Elizabeth High School. Welcome back. So good to see you. So excited Thank to have you guys. Here. I'm so happy to be back. This is very exciting. It I've, is. No, I've got to tell you though, I would look at this recipe and I would <laughs> shake in fear. I mean, anything that was French, I just assumed that it was hard. I mean, you know, I mean, burger, I couldn't even say it, much right. less try to make it. But we have really worked these steps down. This is not easy. It, I mean, it is easy. It, it is, is easy. easy. It just looks it's not easy. It's one step above a beef stew. Seriously. That's true. That's true. So, so it's so, so simple. So you guys dig in. Jordan okay. came at the counter. We, Orly Maria and Larissa, they're very excited about yes. your beef morgan, y'all. Yes. We they have, might not be able to say it, but they can eat it. Exactly. Right. You know, that's fine. So it starts with, with uh, making your bacon first, correct? It's, yes. So, and we've kind of stepped ahead a little bit. What we did is we went on and sauteed our bacon in our wonderful pan here, and then we pulled our bacon out. Okay. And then we took our beef chuck roast, okay? okay. So it's a less expensive cut of meat. It's usually beef um, tenderloin, no? It is. You're okay. absolutely right. Um, but we're on a budget. It's almost Christmas, and I don't know about you, but I got three girls that okay. need something under the tree. Loud and so I'm using yeah. the chuck roast. We're going to cook this for so long. It's going to be perfectly okay. fine. Do mm. not worry oh, about that. Mm. So now we've pulled it all out, and we're going to do something that is another term. It's a fancy cooking term, deglaze the pan. Right. Okay? Terrified me. That was it. We just did it. I all think, you know, that's all it does. You know, all it does just getting the trash off the bottom of it. That's all it is. Why don't they call it that? I just think chefs sometimes want to be fancy and act like right. we know something that nobody else does, so we throw in some culinary terms. That's just my opinion, Debbie. Okay, so we got okay. the bacon out. So we now we've got that. Beef, just a few minutes on We have side. all those wonderful brown bits Put off the, the bottom of Ooh. the pan. Okay. We're going to put our beef back in back here. In. Now yes. we're going to add our beef consomme. Okay. Yes. I have a question about that. I would love to know the difference between consomme and just beef broth. Okay. So consomme, it starts with beef bones and oh. liquid oh, so that you're going to get that nice gelatin in there. It's a collagen is actually oh, is what it is. Oh, is it sort of like bone so, broth then? It, right. Exactly. That is what it is. Mm. It is. So it's good for your skin too. Oh gosh. Very, very good so for your skin. So you also put some red wine in there and some garlic. I did. And red wine, paste. garlic, tomato paste. Okay. We have salt and we have pepper. And then we have a little bit of thyme. Okay. Now what we we're have gonna... so much. We have two and a half hours kind of time because we're going to put it. <laughs> all You're right. Already. You are absolutely right okay. because you know we did. Like I said, we <laughs> used the chuck roast. It's going to need some cooking. Okay. Yeah. Now a that lot of we time. have. Okay. While you put that in the oven, can I ask you about wine? Um, do you have, because in traditional, you know, the traditional recipe, you use burgundy wine or wine from burgundy or whatever. Yes. Do you have to do that? You don't. Okay. You don't. I will tell you one thing. If you've got a bottle of wine that's been laying around for a month that you drank two, two sips out right. of and you think, oh, well, I don't want to drink it, but I'll put it in this, mm. do not do no. that. <laughs> if you don't want to drink it, you don't want to eat it. But and also, kind of it's been two and a half, it's vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> put it on your salad, not, don't put exactly. it inside. Exactly. So we put so it in really for two hours two at 300? Yes, and so you just want to make sure that it's really, really tender. Okay. So let's pretend like we pulled it out and now we have our beef. So this has been cooked, look okay. at that, and it's Beautiful. perfectly wonderful. Okay. Yes, it um, is. It really now is. we're going to yeah. think about this sauce. Yeah. So we had our, um, we have the wine and we have the beef that's cooked down. We want it to be a little bit thicker, so we added a little bit of flour. We added a little bit of butter to this. Okay, that's so this gonna is be our just the broth agent. that this was cooking in before. Exactly. Okay. Now we have our beef here. We have sauteed our mushrooms. We also blanched our little baby pearl onions. These are my, that's my favorite part about this whole thing. I love pearl onions. Don't you love them? They're now so we're going to just add everything back together. See, this really is easy. It's not hard at all. It really isn't. It's a process, and there are a few steps. But there's nothing scary about this. No, except the name. And the reason that I love <laughs> exactly just the name. Is it all in the prep? Like I'm watching you do this and you make it look so easy, but if you prep right, it's gotta be, it's gotta make it that much easier. Yes. Read your true? recipe before you start. Right. Make sure you have all of your ingredients that's before so you true. begin. Right. I mean, that's really um, and after you put it all together, oh you, my, you, I mean, look at that. Oh, have beautiful. you ever? It's just divine. It's and beautiful. how long would we would we get it, bring it all back together, like once we put it all you back together? You just wanna warm it through. That's it. Because, you know, what we've done, let's wipe one. that little rim off. Okay. That's gonna make me crazy. <laughs> um, and you could serve this with mashed potatoes, you could serve it over oh, egg noodles. It's super yummy. I mean, we have a beautiful crispini with it, which is quite wonderful. Um, this is a dish, though, that can be made ahead. Okay, so you can make this the day before. You can make it two days before, and oh. that's why it's great for a party. Mm -hmm. um, because the last thing that you want to do when guests are arriving is be standing in the kitchen. Yep. Yes. You know, I mean, you're all upset. 
You're tired. Covered You're in, sweating. Covered in flour. Yeah, you hadn't it's gotten so time to take a shower. No. Nope. You know, I mean, yeah. you want, all you do is reheat this. It's on the stove. You reheat it for five minutes, ten minutes, and then it goes straight down. And it is just divine. Uh, well, speaking of parties, yeah, speaking yeah, parties, your next in. cookbook. Uh, do you like how I worked that in there? I did. I saw that you were having a party, Southern Living Party Cookbook. That's the name of it, everybody. Now, you've got some great recipes for oh all occasions God. in there. Yes. Take us through some of them. Some well, other ones. Oh, oh, okay. We have them here. Um, so, this one, oh, I do love this. So, Go this ahead. is fried chicken and waffles, <laughs> one of my favorite things in the wow. entire world. And then we add pecans in the syrup. Oh, Divine. Oh. This is for a farewell coffee. I love to have luncheons and coffees, and then this one. Oh, I do love this. This is a um, mm. chicken salad. It's in a pastry shell. Oh. Divine for oh, a bridal luncheon. It's just a little something different than a finger sandwich. Oh, my Lord, honey. This is from the <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh, this one's going to kill you. This is Christmas <laughs> Eve celebration. It is a chocolate and bourbon bread pudding. Oh. Oh. I, I know. Why are we eating oh, that today? Well, it's it's just I know if you have that reaction to seeing the picture that we're going to just about fall out of our chair. Yeah. Yeah. Not <laughs> right? imagine how that fun it is. You are it's just beyond anything. This almost made me this fall out of my so chair. Good. So delicious. Thank you Thank so honey. much for being here. Debbie, you enjoyed it? I can't even look up. I can't even look up. Debbie's eating. Debbie's eating. No more talking. For more from Elizabeth, be sure to grab a copy of the Southern Living Party. Cookbook and the full recipe, of course, as always, will be at HallmarkChannel.com.